Hi everyone, and oh my goodness, I'm super excited to share with you Spellbinders June Club Kits. Super cute, very fresh, very summery, and just adorable. So for June of 2023, um, I have what is considered the total package. So it's, excuse me, so this is the total package. It's basically all the club kits. Um, of course, they're all available individually. They're available as smaller kind of value clubs, and then also this total package, which is literally everything. And it's, you know, clearly the best value uh, there. So. Um, uh, and when you are an active club member, you get 10% off the site every day. As soon as you log in, you'll see those prices reflected in the pricing that you see, right? Um, but Spellbinders did send these items free of charge from my review, and of course, all opinions are my own. And any links I have in the description box will be affiliate links, which means I'll make a small commission if you ever purchase items to those links. So this is the unboxing. I released this today on the 1st, you know, with all the um, clubs being released. And then I'll follow up closer to the 5th, 6th for individual... Um, tutorials right for the other items uh, and that's generally when it's opened up for people to sign up brand new so um, that's kind of how I time that so hopefully this helps you out if you are an existing club member or if you just want to check it out in a few days to sign up and uh, make your changes and things if you're an existing club member um, you should be able to do that right now on the first hopefully <laughs> that's the case in your portal and um, if not you can make those changes on the sixth fifth and sixth in between there sometimes they post spellbinders will post on the fifth sometimes on the sixth but again i'll have everything everything excuse me linked in the description box those would be affiliate links which means i'll make a small commission if you purchase i have those links so thanks for using those if and when you can if you would like to um yeah let's get right to it i i honestly i don't know which one i'm gonna play with today because i am like they're all so cute oh my gosh so let's just uh, get started i usually start off with the embossing folders and then I go to the clear stamp and then the dies and things and the card kit being the last thing I show you so let's start with the embossing folder of the month and this is your standard embossing folder so um, doesn't need any kind of special sandwiches whatever your machines do for standard embossing folders this should work there um, it is a larger embossing folder it embosses about five and a half by eight and a half the folder itself is about eight and three quarters sorry eight and three quarters by five and three quarters um, in uh, dimension so you know you want to know that for whatever machine you might be using um, this is the splish splash it's what it's called and as you can see it looks like little splish splash water it could also look like just like little stylized leaves i think this would be pretty for all kinds of different uh cards and projects right so you can see the little splish splash really cute adorable so we'll use that very soon here and this one right here is a 3d called scattered shells and you guys know i love my <laughs> spellbinders 3d embossing folders and this one i think is my all-time favorite i haven't even used it yet I, what do i know but it <laughs> looks so beautiful look at the shells i just think it's gonna be so cute i love like the little kind of like coral reef kind of stuff in here we have like nautilus kind of shells or like you know um just your basic kind of like a clammy kind of shell <laughs> or like all these different just so cute you guys the starfish i mean different sizes i mean look at this and the difference i like talk about this pretty much every month with a 3d embossing folder and a standard one uh, along with just like the thickness is a little bit thicker right in a 3d embossing folder is that the imagery imagery the whatever design they put on here it's kind of like raised and lowered and if you feel it it's just like if it, you had an actual item you made an impression you know so it just has up and down and it's undulating like the different areas right the way it's created where a standard embossing folder just goes straight up across the image whatever it is and straight back down so if you were to look at it or feel it, it just goes up straight across straight down right and where these kind of gradually are created where that's like more carved i guess i don't know how to explain that it this is gorgeous 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 and i know sometimes these things sell out and i have a feeling this is going to be one of the, year, the months where that happens because this is so pretty i can't get over it ready to use that super excited about it uh the stamp and die so there's a clear stamp of the month and then there's a stamp and die and then it's also included just in the total package as a new thing so we have uh the photopolymer stamp set and um they are photopolymer like i just mentioned this one uh for this month it is the what are you up to okay what are you up to uh, let me see if i can put something behind this so you can see a little better yellow Ooh, here we go um so we have our little whale and it says see you soon it's very punny so i'll cro i'll cross the ocean for you make waves what are you up to seize the day whale hello there and then i'm inking of you that is so cute we have like a beautiful little hibiscus kind of floral kind of 
thing going on. Actually, I don't know if that's a hibiscus, but I said it. But uh, if you really look at it, it doesn't have that center part. But anyway, it's just a beautiful tropical looking flower. Some other little sprays there. Um, our little, oh my goodness. Um, uh, whenever we live in Monterey, we'd go to the aquarium all the time. And Dorian was really small and we would go to the aquarium literally every cup, like, every few days <laughs> to go check out the jellyfish. He loved them, they're so cute. So we have a little jellyfish, a little crab, um, a cute little like reef kind of looking seaweed, a little background area. Very cute. So that's the stamp by itself. You can grab that. You can do the stamp and dies. So the dies for this month for the stamp, uh, if you were to do the combo, or again, they're included in the total package. It has pretty much dies for everything. Um, even most of the wording I see, I would say most of the wording, like I can see what are you up to has its own die there and then a couple of the other sentiments or oh, you know what four let's see one two three yeah so the larger sentiments all have dies for them uh, some of the florals like the little shell here has a die for it obviously the larger pieces so um, pretty much a die for everything on that very cute and you guys check this little guy out and you know when I was putting it on here I just you know oh it's an octopus like that's mostly what we're focusing on with the small die of the month but there is a little jellyfish that does the same thing so they have like little movement and if you guys have any of the dancing dies or at least seen them uh, from Spellbinders see how it has this little loopy hole right here you just put a foam dot in there and then this little guy goes on top and so it moves right the little this portion does so it's really cute because you have the larger octopus to keep a, an eye on there your focal point and then you have all these little jellies that can be around him and so it's called dance and octopus and friends and this is a small die of the month so we have a background piece we have a topper that has more um uh, detail, right? You see this background has little suckers on the little legs, and then we have this little guy, and then we have this portion that goes in the back. So this thing kind of moves around. So you have that uh, Sorry, with I the motion. Something over here. Um, so we have that motion coming from there. We have the little wood like sign, and it says the little wood sign. And you can have it say hey or yay or obviously stamp or do whatever you want with that. Um, it comes with like little seaweed, and we have a little starfish. Um, to help flesh out your little scene there. This next one, I'm telling you guys, this is the large eye of the month. It is super cute. It's called Whale in a Bottle, and maybe you've already seen some images of it. Actually, I have a printout here for the instruction. And this, you know, I get samples. Obviously, yours will be on a carrier. It'll look real nice. And in the back of the carrier, it looks like this, uh, full color. And look what it makes. It makes like a little whale world in a bottle you know so very nautical super cute i mean you can put the little tag the for you you have the little cork on the top and then you build up your little scene on the inside and i just i this is just so cute oh my gosh um he imagine on the top of that doing like just acetate maybe so it has the shininess or acetate on this so you can put it over the top and then it looks like a real bottle right with the um sheen of the acetate on top but anyhow so you have this guy and you know let me give you a measurement on that because he is a big boy. Let's see. The uh, bottle itself is, yeah, it, it's a little bit larger than five and a half inches, the die itself, but you're going to get something that's five and a half inches tall by roughly, it's about four inches wide, metal to metal, so it's a little bit skinnier than um, a standard A2 size card. And then, of course, all the portions that help you make everything. I mean, it's all of this here for the large die. You have your whale, his... Um, detail you have again the cork on the top of your bottle there these little um like little rocks and things that you saw in the image that i showed those is to add your tie on the outside you have like coral seaweed it's little splish splashies <laughs> really cute and of course all your waves and sand or whatever is that you want to do with these guys uh to build up your scene super cute and then down here you guys the stitch die of the month ain't no slouch look at this this is so cute <laughs> and let me get the name for you just in case i think yeah, I was pretty sure it was called Stitch Shell Card Front, which, because that's what it is. So you have this whole card front. Um, let me pick it up because look at this guy. So you have the outer portion. You have this inner piece if you want to use it or not. But of course, you would want to use that um, for that lovely effect there. And let me just see how big metal to metal. Um, it's just over five and a half inches tall. And the width, the metal to metal is about four and a half inches wide. Um, so we have this definite card top or you can make a shaped card, right? Just fold your card, place this down on the edge, and you have a shaped card. And then you have this beautiful front. Of course, if you don't want to stitch, you don't have to. I mean, it just has that beautiful um, 
uh, effect, right? You see like the embossing, the little cutout areas. Then you even have this piece here that's really lovely. So you can put them all together. It makes a frame, right? Because it'll cut the edge and cut this edge. And you have a little frame. You have a topper bit with, uh, again, that beautiful um, cutouts there. And then we even have another piece in here. So another matte layer or make it a frame or however you want to mix and match all these pieces. And along with that, you also have these beautiful shells that echo the shells that are in the uh, card front. And they did give you three. And um, you can stitch those up too. Really, really beautiful stitching die of the month. And then um, we have the glimmer. And the glimmer, well, it's not an add-on for the glimmer. It's an add-on for whatever you want if you just want to get these more of these sentiments to help you flesh out any of these designs. But the glimmer is the um, sending waves and you have these gorgeous things. So I paired them up so you can see them or match them up, I guess, because it's more than just pairs. But um, you have this beautiful glimmer plate that's going to give you like a wave kind of look, right? And you can cut the edge of it. You can cut the other side of it. You can cut it out completely, build it up in layers, however you like. Um, I was going to say this is probably five and a half inches tall, but let's see. Oh, it's closer to six inches tall. It's like five and three quarters, which I love that when they do that, it's a little oversized, so you don't have to kind of guess. You can just cut it, you know, do that, cut it, and it'll fit your five and a half card topper really well nicely. Really well nicely, I would say well. So you have that, and then you have this one that's a little bit loopier, a little flouncier, like on the edges here. And it also has either cut the top, cut the bottom, cut the whole thing out, however you want to use that with those dies and it comes with a sentiment and the sentiment is this one here uh sending an ocean of thanks right and then an add-on for this month are these guys these sentiments over here so um i will have them linked in the description box but it says make a splash on your birthday um get a whale soon <laughs> and then uh i love you let's put it up this way i think because i had it upside down I love you deeply. Oh, that's so cute. Like the ocean. Okay. And then swimming by to say hi. So that's again an add on set that you can pick up that is glimmer, but it also has the die to cut out the uh, message if you would like. So that's what we have. Um, oh, and then with the glimmer, today I did remember to bring this guy out. And even though I just forgot to mention it, uh, but here we are. Um, it comes with a foil. So whenever you pick up the Glimmer, like later on when they have it available for everybody, it does not come with a foil. But if you pick it up as a club member, you do get a foil um, every month. So this month happens to be Sky Bright. And it does say usually that colors may vary, but this is uh, the color that most people will get, I would assume. So it's called Sky Bright. Really, I don't think I have this one. It's very light blue, really, really pretty. So we'll use that one this month. And then let's put these things to the side. We'll open up the card kit of the month. I'll be right back. So I can see already there's like a shaker mix in here, which I am loving that Spellbinders is doing that uh, recently. It's really cute. So this one's called like, A Little Hello. So this is June's quick and easy card kit of the month. Um, again, they redesigned it, I think, at the beginning of the year. So it's just different from the previous years. Um, I'm gonna change it up every once in a while. I'll have some of the very beginner kits that um, Spellbinders have put out and they were different from the ones from, you know, just the most recent years and this is what they're doing now. So let's open that up. Comes in this bag. Um, comes with your inspo, of course, and some info. Uh, it says it has eight cards and eight envelopes, of course. Twenty uh, card panels. They're four and a quarter by five and a half. Uh, butterfly embellishments, chipboard frames, chipboard embellishments, pattern paper, die cut shapes, sprinkle mix, foam squares, and adhesive tape, as always. So they have some images here for you to check out um, some examples. And then here it's showing you how they put the little fans together, some of the die cut um, ephemera pieces, to make this little scene here. It's very cute. So, okay, so the basics, card bases, envelopes. Let's look at our card stock here. Um, so we have a light blue, a very deep navy blue, lime green, that beautiful kind of uh, bold kind of pink, and then like a lavender, so really pretty. And fresh, again, very nautical, very cute. Now, I saw the things in here aren't so much nautical, but I think those will work really well for with this month's dyes and things. Um, we have, well, let's see. Uh, I usually show you the tape <laughs> and the dimensional foam, which I use every bit of this dimensional foam. It has little squares, and then I also just kind of used up the rest by cutting it up um, as needed. 
We have the chipboard stickers. Hello beautiful, wonderful, warm, kind, lovely and true. We have like little postage stamps. Look at just happy. I love the little fox. She's so cute. Um, all kinds of cute things on here. Lots of sentiments. And then we have, uh, ooh, the butterflies that are always selling out in Spellbinders. So this is um, butterflies for this set here. Looks like this little guy got a little something. Let's fix him. There we go. Um, they're basically like acetate butterflies. And they have two layers, so you can see how pretty they are. Layered up. I'll just open it up like that. Very pretty. I love with the foiling and everything. Just lovely. Put those to the side there. Uh, chipboard frames, as I showed or spoke about on the inspo sheet there. And these are very different. Um, they have, you know, like some of these have like built-in prettiness here. Really cute. A little foiling on them. Lots of those. Tons of die cuts, as always. And there's usually, generally, there's two of each. So I'm just going to pull some of these out, guys. Uh, okay, well, that's a, quite a bit of them. Lots of little butterflies you can see there. Um, cute butterflies, little house, little strip of butterflies, those little kind of like um, pinwheel type things or rosette kind of decorations, whatever I call them at the beginning. I forgot what I'm calling them. Uh, you said something else at the beginning there. Um, and then we have like a little envelope, little butterflies coming out. Look at this little guy. <laughs> Got a little inchworm there, uh, tree, little background piece or topper piece, should I say? Oh, a little dress. Lots of cute things. Treats, of course. Um, oh, we have our little fox lady over here. <laughs> She's so cute. Oh my goodness. Uh, lots of postage-looking things. Little swans. I mean, just a lot of adorable uh, imagery here. Really cute. Oh, let's put those guys over here. And um, the shaker mix, or um, sprinkles as they call it. Really cute. It has like some hot pink. I know, I'm oh, sorry about the coloring there. Or the lighting, should I say. Hot pink like Fimo slices. There's white like sprinkle looking bits. Um, there are also Palmer Clay or Fimo. Um, I see little like, um, maybe they're, they're butterfly ones. Little Fimo clay slices. Um, tinsel that's like holographic that's what you're kind of seeing reflecting in there white sequins just really soft white pink and pale really cute and then the papers themselves let's check these guys out again very butterfly this time around here and so butterflies with uh, cute little gold dots actually where do we start maybe here uh, like a minty geometric pattern we have oh little banners <laughs> that's so cute like little pennants to say hello precious beautiful perfect things like that um, really pretty plaid they're very soft the cute little butterflies with some gold foiling maybe you can see the gold reflecting there a light blue with little white pattern there pink with light pink uh, butterflies um, a stripe, candy stripe, pinstripe kind of look. Very fun colors. Similar butterfly pattern to what we saw back there, but without the foiling. A little bit different with that pink, white, and black. Ooh, pink, very kind of creamy white and like a blue. I don't know why it's giving me a French feel on that one. Uh, we have uh, kind of a coral paper with little very light um, pattern. What do we got here? Some beautiful light blue with the little butterflies. Super sweet. And this one, dark blue, white, um, daisy kind of flowers, little blue butterflies, and then it has like some foiling in some of the flowers. Um, this looks like a man's shirt kind of pattern. Really cute. Clean. Uh, very, very light minty color, but it has like little white splotches that are very faint, so it comes up very light on camera. Nice coral plaid. White and black, very cute pattern there. The black and white, I guess is how we normally would say that. <laughs> then here we have a beautiful, um, you know, butterfly floral pattern with lots of pretty colors in there. The yellow pop with the white butterflies. And then the pink with like an interesting pattern, kind of like drops off and starts up again, really cute. And then that first one that we talked about. 
earlier. So that is the quick and easy card kit of the month. What I'm gonna do is gather my thoughts and I think we're gonna work with the small die of the month today. Why not? I'll be right back. Just to start, I pulled out some colors from the uh, card kit of the month that I might use today. Uh, I'm just gonna use this light blue paper and I'm gonna run it through. Got one of the card bases from the quick and easy card kit. We're going to run it through our uh, 3D embossing folder, sorry. <laughs> Gonna fall out of my hands here. Actually, a splish splash would be really cute too because we're doing like a little ocean scene, but I really want to use this one today, so let's do that. So I'm just gonna run that through and I will be right back. Um, again, with the universal plate system, it's just this the A plate and the gray adapter plate. And if you have a different system, you're just going to do some different sandwiching to get this to be. Uh, the right sandwich right for it to go through your machine so I'm sorry I don't know all the different sandwiches of everything but it is a little bit thicker so you're gonna want to go a little bit less with whatever you normally do with your sandwich plates right but I'll be right back Let's go ahead and pop this guy out and glue it down how awesome is this going to be with white core paper so you can take a little sanding block and go over the top maybe a little inking that's lovely lovely oh my gosh look at that I mean <laughs> just that texture and of course I love both sides but uh, for today this is definitely the way to go oh my gosh gorgeous now I will say this has a lot of texture to it and we're supposed to be using items that are going to be moving so we'll see it might stop a little bit of my dancing but that's okay um, I'm using it anyway <laughs> All right so let's go ahead and glue that down and um, then we'll go into cutting our pieces for our small die of the month um, scenery that we're going to be making here. Sorry about that sound. <laughs> Alright, I'm just going to glue that down and I will be right back. Look how beautiful that is. And since I do have a lot of movement in the background, like I said, with the dancing, you obviously you want to leave it pretty smooth so things can move around. So I'm just going to do a focal um, octopus, okay? So this is what we're going to be using today. Um, just so I can pop them on there. Of course, I would love to have the little jellyfish characters, but I do have a lot of thickness back here that might prevent their legs from moving. So might as well just focus on one guy and let him do his thing. So we're going to do this. I did, I did bring out the pieces for the sign. I also brought out some, some pieces for the um, starfish. So just to decorate here and there. So on these little guys, I think what I'm going to do, I, and these are just scrap papers that I have. Um, this is kind of like a coral color. So I'm just going to run it through maybe three times. I like having like groups of three so three times in this cute pinky coral color there and the background piece uh, three times from this cream colored paper and for our little guy well let's go here so uh, let's do hey <laughs> so I'm going to do this on my little sign and just run it through some craft card stock like that and just tape those so they don't move you want to put it like that put some tape so it doesn't move right we don't want anything to happen and then we have this piece now this will cut you two different pieces it cuts um, this piece that's just flat or straight and then another background piece um, this one has like a little divot on the very top so if you pop it on top of this let's say you did a dark brown and this brown you'll have two different pieces so I'll probably run it also through dark brown paper but I'm also gonna run it through the craft card stock and then for our octopus, I just brought out all these colors so it'd be fun to just kind of go for it and have some fun with this little guy. So let's do green for that one. The background piece, let's do blue. And for our fun little legs, let's do purple. I usually like the legs to be kind of heavy, so I might cut this out twice, or one side of the purple and one side of like white paper or something, just so that they have some weight to them. Uh, I feel like it moves better when the legs have a little extra weight. So um, I'll be right back with all my pieces and we'll just put it together. So we have some different things here. I ran this through at the same time, the purple and the white paper just because <laughs> sometimes uh, if you do that though and it's really nice thick paper like we have uh, they stick together a little bit but it looks like they're coming apart so I can glue them together obviously that's what I was going for so we have those pieces we have this guy and then my little sign he's got gangly little legs there okay and let's pop that guy out oh my gosh cute okay so Basically, this one's going to glue on top of that blue. So let's go ahead and get some nice amount of glue on those guys all the way down. Doo, doo, doo. And this one goes on top of the blue. The blue kind of 
drop shadows itself. Just gonna match up his little head. <laughs> there we go. And then these guys will match up on their own. In a really fun way. I love that. A lot of movement there, you know? Look how cute. So I'm just gonna hold that down for a second. And in the meantime, I'm gonna put my little star fishies together also. So just a little glue with their little beige background piece. What am I doing? Like this. I have three of them. And then we have our sign. Um, like I said, that one piece cuts out two different pieces. So you have just like a little bit of an accent piece so we can do like the light brown in the background. Maybe they will do it that way. That way this pops, you know, instead of doing light brown and then a little dark brown in the back. So I'll glue those together too. And I'll be right back. Oh, and then I'm also gonna glue these together, right? I said I was gonna make it a little bit extra heavy. So just gluing those two layers together. I did cut out the sign by itself without the words in blue just to make it pop. So let's see. Cute. Okay, so let's go ahead and stick that together. And um, it does say to go ahead and use like a square adhesive. I usually make my adhesive like round whenever I do one of these little dancing guys. So we will try the square. Why not? I will say the hole is bigger. A lot of times um, in the other dancing characters that I've uh, tutorialized and used, um, the little circle in the middle was smaller. So it looks like they're accommodating for the square adhesive the circle is a lot larger now and so let's check that guy out one more thing to glue down actually we're still gonna need some glue for other things but let's just put that guy there and he's holding a little sign that says hey and then let's get that square adhesive from our kit here and of course I thought it was right in front let me see here it is and whenever you apply the adhesive, wherever you're planning, um, you know, if you put it right there, then that's great. Sometimes it'll fall down. Like, let's say you just planned it and you're looking at it and you put your adhesive on. How cute is that? Oh my gosh, you guys. He does have some very gangly legs, so I'm very interested in seeing how this works out here. So let's go ahead and take this little guy and let's just say he has his little sign. Oh my goodness. Mm-hmm. <laughs> We will see. And just about there, just to be more focal. I wanna see kind of what's going on here. I think that's okay. We'll pop that guy on there. Okay. And again, because I have that um, texture in the background, it's kind of wine a stick more than anything. What I'm gonna to do, to be honest, I'm gonna cut down this guy and since I already stuck it down what I'm going to do is just come in here and go like this <laughs> cut a little bit off the edges I usually do this anyway I try to make my little um, foam round it just seems to work better for me and I think that trend still continues so if you can just kind of round it out or if you have a circular foam that'd be best I just want to try it because that's what it said all right so let's go ahead and remove that and we have something like that. Let me make sure this guy's nice and straight. And then this little guy pops up on top of it. And let me put one more adhesive behind his head. Now you do not want to stop it from working. So when you put the adhesive, I should have put it behind his head before. Sorry guys, haven't made one of these in a little while. <laughs> You don't want to stop the other thing from moving, so that looks good. So you can see it's not touching the other foam, right? And there are his little legs <laughs> moving around. Super cute. Again, I did kind of obstruct it a little bit with this 3D behind here. Now, his little sign, I mean, you can put in his little tentacles. If you put it here, like let's say it looks like he's holding it, it's going to stop the legs from moving that direction, but, you know, what are you going to do? So I'm going to go ahead and pop that there and put it in his little leg. I think that's very cute and maybe a little bit of glue like as far up as I think here where the leg is going to touch it and we put it like right in here okay oh my gosh how cute is that <laughs> he's holding his little hay I'm just gonna hold that down for a minute and I'll be right back because this little sign actually helps it move a little better because it's holding his legs up here too so it gives you some you know space there 
very cute. Oh my gosh, adorable. And he can be holding lots of signs, guys. I mean, he's got several legs there. Oh, I didn't mention, or forgot to mention, I drop shadowed the white on the legs. So I figured we cut it out anyway. Why not just add a little more texture than I didn't just do the purple right on top of the white, you know? So I drop shadow it just a little bit. So you have that um, little extra. And then we can just add some of our little guys here and there, maybe with some dimension. Oh, you know what? Maybe I'll pop this one up. Let's do that. Let's pop him up. And then the other ones I'm just going to stick down. Adding a little something there. And then the other two, I'll just stick them up here somewhere. Okay, I'll be right back. So I just kind of put them in here, just kind of like in a more organic way, kind of fun. Um, like, why not? There is so much going on on this card. I just love how cute it is. Of course, we're going to be patient here and work with our little legs, you know, so that they can move, especially with that 3D background that I popped myself into. And um, this is just so cute. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. Um, thanks for watching, guys. I'll have images coming up. I'll have the links in the description box. And also with the shaker mix, you know, you can just kind of pour some of that out and individually pick out like some sequins or like different things that you might want to use. I know it has some little stars in there. That'd be cute to kind of pop them here and there just for some... Um, uh, shine if you would like but I mean how cute oh my goodness all right guys well thanks for watching and I will see you all at the next one bye now